Alrighty, so we're gonna get this show on the road, but before we do that, we should probably do the cinematic. If you haven't seen it yet, you probably have. If you haven't, well, then, here we go. Six of us went down into the pit. Only one crawled out. I am Eris, the last. I have seen what the Hive call a god. Crota, son of Oryx. He took everything from me. He will turn his eyes to Earth. And only a true weapon of the light can stop his wrath. Now you must face what lurks in the dark below. Alrighty. So that is the opening cinematic for The Dark Below, and we are ready to continue Destiny after a very long period of time where we didn't really post up anything at all. So hello YouTube, by the way. We are going to be heading to the tower to do the Dark Below missions. We do have to go to the tower because Eris is chilling out there. Uh, and I guess that's slightly better than having to go to the map at first. So we'll actually go up to her and be like, hey, yo, what's going on? And she'll be like, ah, yo, kill the hive. And then we'll actually be able to do the missions. So let's go ahead and do that. But it has been a couple of months since I posted up uh, Destiny content. And the reason for that is because, let's be honest, there isn't a lot after the story is beaten. And once you've beaten the Vault of Glass a couple of times, you know, it's a lot of grinding. Uh, so I didn't record any of that. And that's how come the Let's Play kind of abruptly ended. But we are back. With the new DLC, I did uh, start up the raid, and we got all the way to the end. We haven't beaten it yet, so I guess, spoilers, at the end of this DLC, we go to stop Crota. But beyond that, there wasn't any spoilers in the raid, so I'm actually pretty happy about that. There wasn't any, like, dialogue being said. Um, so now we're ready to tackle the actual story missions, which have been supposedly... Uh, supposedly they're supposed to link up narratively with the rest of the DLC and it'll eventually lead to the strikes and it will lead into the raid so I'm happy about that uh, so let's go ahead and actually talk to her hello Eris uh-huh she actually I don't I don't know if, like does she have three eyes or is that a mask thing I'm not entirely sure. Doesn't matter. Let's go. Guardian, I need your help. Crota will return to destroy this world if we do not stop him. Okay. I can agree to that. I mean, I would probably do it anyways. Uh, let's see. Fist of Crota. Quest step. Defeat the Fist of Crota leading the spawn in the Cosmodrome. The spawn will fall the fist. While the will grows Crota's army, I've seen all before. I did not read that right. The spawn will follow the fist. While the will grows Crota's army. I've seen this all before. Okay. Kill Sardon, the fist of Crota, before the hive wake Crota's soul. <laughs> all right, we can do that. I mean, they're gonna do it anyways. But oh, hello. I like the looks of these shaders. Hold up, let's see what this one looks like. Predawan. No, that looks like crap. Okay, midday. Yeah, actually, that doesn't look too bad. And sun setting. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, that is a really good-looking armor shader. Holy hell. I want to see what that looks like with my new gear. Hold up now. Don't let it betray you. Shut up, Eris. You're crazy. Yes. This is the strength we will need. Oh my fucking god, I look like 
<laughs> I look like I'm on fire. Or I guess I should rather say, that actually looks really flamboyant. What does the other stuff look like with this gear? Hmm. That's actually pretty solid. There you go. Okay, so I am happy about this, but I have to get her to rank three and four? Oh, jeez. I guess I'm not getting that for a while. So what is this stuff going to be? Um... Embalming orb stolen from a hive chamber and what this tiny orb represents is unknowable and terrifying. Uh, ruined core. Oh, so you have to buy this for some of the stuff in the future. Got you. Okay, let's grab some of these bounties. Kill hive using a blade sword on earth. Rapidly kill time. ten enemies with a melee attack. And kill any majors or ultras in a nightfall activity. What is this? Kill seven at once with Fist of Havoc. Really? One of the bounties is for another class entirely? That... That annoys me, but okay, I guess the Titans get a little bit of love. Listen for the shadows. Also, this is what my gear looks like at the moment. At least, what my future gear will look like in the moment. When I actually get Radiant Shards to level up my, uh, raid stuff. I don't know, I don't know how much armor you get from the raid gear pre-Radiant Shard. But it would be cool if it could get me up to 31 in a timely manner, but I don't think that's going to happen. So for now, we're not going to have the cool chest pieces and gloves and things like that. We're just going to roll with this. Although I probably should run with this stuff. I mean, let's be honest. The story mission is not going to require me to be level 30, I believe. But I could do the hard version. Mm. I do like the idea of that. Okay. We should get you that with normal gear then. Alright. So, I should actually, I guess, explain for the people on YouTube as well. Things that have been changed. So, the DLC is out. The first expansion pack called The Dark Below. And in this expansion pack, obviously they've added new story missions. They added Eris, who will be a little bit more of someone we actually talk to and get stuff from. Hopefully. But they've also upgraded the max level of the game. It's It's gone from 30 to 32. And so I think pretty much throughout the expansions, they'll just keep on doing that. <laughs> they'll just be like, alright, and we've raised the cap by two levels, get new gear, go for it. Um, and so with that, they've actually added a lot of the new gear in the vendors, the Crucible and Vanguard vendors. Uh, so now if you have a full set of this Vanguard gear, you can get to level 31, which is pretty great considering that before this DLC came out, you pretty much had to get full raid gear in order to get to level 30, and uh, that sucked, but now you can just buy the gear. <laughs> so, you know, besides the fact that it completely outclasses the, the, the raid stuff, and if you dedicated your life to getting that, it, it's, it's okay. It just means now you can become more powerful. Just think of this like a second set of raid gear. Alrighty. So, with that said, I am ready to tackle the main mission. Ranzik is just kind of chilling out in the background, staring off at the city that we cannot explore. I wish we could, but, oh well. <laughs> I'm gonna push him off. Yep. Nope, you need it. You want it. Come on, Ranzik. You have to go into the tower, or you have to go to the city. Ah, well, that happened. All right, we both died. It's time to go to orbit. Ah, oh, damn, I wanted to go to orbit from, <laughs> from the death animation. All righty, so we have ourselves... A Fist of Crota quest step. Defeat the Fist of Crota leading the spawn in the Cosmodrome. I don't know why it's in bounties. That's literally really stupid. It should be in mission. But, oh well. Uh, so, Cosmodrome. Ah, there you go. Alright, so it's not gonna be a thing. I thought we were gonna have to, like, patrol. That's what it sounded like for a bit. Uh, but no, we can just come here. Ooh, sweet. Alright. Fist of Crota. Face the Fist of Crota leading the spawn on Earth. You get an armor upgrade. Dark and grab? Yeah, well, what if I stick it at level 28? Ah, uh, okay, it's gonna be level 28. I was hoping it'd be 30. 
So with, since it's level 28, I'm actually going to swap to my other set of gear, because why not level it up at the same time? Alright, let's rumble. For the people on YouTube, uh, I have gotten a good set of weapons since the last time I posted up anything. Mostly, the big part, Mythoclast, saying I have it. I would have preferred the other raid gear, so I could have gotten to level 30 we went to the moon a little before things, but, vengeance, oh well. But it found us first. Crota, the son of Oryx. We'd never faced anything like him. In the end, only I was left. Crota and his armies destroyed our moon. If we don't stop them, I fear Earth will suffer the same fate. Sardon commands the hive spawn on Earth. Search the grotto, find this monster, and see to his end. Oh. So we're starting off... ...inside the area where the Devil Walker is. Okay! That caught me off guard. I'm like, where the hell am I? Because I have never looked behind me. I never knew that was a thing there. Alright, we're gonna have to fight something. I heard a Shrieker? I think? I'm not actually sure. I heard something yell, or, I guess, shriek. That, that sound. So where the hell is it? Aha! Omnigul, Will of Crota! It is another hive boob lady! Which I just realized is really redundant. So what you're saying, Ranzik, is that this is harder than you would figure. I can appreciate that. I'm gonna back it up. Oh, Jesus. How many enemies are there? Oh, that is just fucked. I'm not dealing with that. I need... I need... To grab one of my arc sniper rifles. So give me a moment. Hopefully I don't die while doing that. There we go. Alright. Now we can attack this lady. Did she just laugh? And then disappear? Oh. <laughs> That's massive amounts of shenanigans. I was ready to just shoot the hell out of her. Alright, I need ammo. Ranzik! Go run off ahead! Do that. I need to loot the bodies of the dead. For shitty green weapons. That will never ever be useful again. It's actually, I don't know, it's a weird kind of thought. Because... In MMOs... At level 90, if you get a green, it's still gonna be better than, like, a level 80 white. If that- that, that sounds- that sounds like a good start of racism. But, you know? It, but in the, in Destiny, just greens are never gonna be useful again, because of the way they have it set up. It's just like, oh, greens are gonna be these shitty things that are super low level of damage. It's like, why can't I get a green that might be better? Oh well. I have a Mythoclast. I don't expect any greens to beat out the Mythoclast. Sardon is the first of Crota's disciples. His army helped shatter the moon and claim it for his master. His presence here is a sign. The Hive are preparing to wake Crota's soul. Well, you know, I've tackled a bit of the raid beforehand, and let me tell you, lady, I think they've already got it pretty far. Oh, ho ho! Oh god damn it, Ranzik. <laughs> I'm ready to like shoot the shit out of him, but now I gotta go in the bubble. Alright! Got the sword! I'm ready to rumble! I might be a warlock, and I probably shouldn't be trying to beat things down, but you know what? Sometimes you need some variety in your life! Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. I fucked up. I fucked up. Sometimes life is all about admitting the mistakes that you've made, such as charging at enemies with low health. Okay, so we're good now. We're just gonna keep on walking forward. Ah, we're heading down into the grotto! And I don't mean that in a happy Disney kind of tale. Years in the tunnels under the moon, using the shadows as the hive do. Keep your eyes open. Well, I'm glad to see this getting some use. So is that gonna be the fist of Dakota right there? This little ball of light? Uh oh, a dark burden weighs upon your light. Well, that was an interesting spawn. Okay. Jesus Christ. What does it even mean that his that Crota's power poisons the air? I can't jump. That's what it means. I can't double jump. Gotcha. Haha! I sacrificed my life now to that kill Sardon. Has fallen, come see me. There is more to do. The rest of Crota's disciples will not cease until Earth is ready for their master's return. Oh, jeez. Does that mean you're they're, they're just gonna kind of go in our caves and slap symbols around? They're going to instill a new religion. Giant thingy. Giant green knight thingy. That's my new religion. I believe in Crota. Even though he smacked me with a sword. That is really creepy. I am glad that we cannot go further into there. Interesting. Maybe we will be. I don't remember that being there before. So, what new gear did I get? Oh, just an engram for a sniper. Okay. Then I guess it's time to head back to the tower. Which is... a partial relief, I suppose. I'm not a fan <laughs> of loading back and forth between the tower. Because it's a traumatic experience when you have multiple characters and are trying to swap stuff between them. But... I'm fine with it since I do have to, I do want to actually, you know, go up to the lady and be like, Hey, yo, I did your mission, and then have her be like, Oh, yo, here's another mission. It's just a standard of life that I'm used to. I'm actually a little sad in regards to, uh, <laughs> the hoarding of packages that I tried to do. I got packages from the Cryptarch, or Cryptarch, and, uh, the Vanguard before the DLC dropped. And I was like, hell yeah, once I grab the packages from the mail, I'm gonna get new stuff. But they actually, I think, fixed that because I didn't get a commendation. I didn't get any new gear from the Cryptarch. So I should have waited and just ranked them up Sorry. afterwards. Such but, oh well. Sorry. Hello, Eris. You've defeated the Fist of Crota, but the threat remains. The rise of Crota. Crota's armors are seeking out the last war mine. You must stop them from riding Rasputin. You didn't say that at all. No when to run. <laughs> I'm trying to get her to actually talk it. Preach the word. Don't let them take you. All right, fine. She's not going to say this bit. Rota's armies are seeking out the last war mine. You must stop them from finding Rasputin. Really? They're going after Rasputin? Uh, I guess that's a solid idea. Even though we don't know anything about him outside of the uh, Grimoire cards. Alright, let's turn these bounties in. I knew you then. Oh god. So, in order to do... Oh, no, 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 okay, so that might not be too bad. I was about to say, in order to get more 
bounty things for Eris, you're gonna have to keep on doing your stuff over and over and over again for bounties, right? And then I realized, no, eventually once you get up to a certain rank, you can buy one of these. And generally, what we've experienced from the game is that if you buy faction armor, uh, like a, like what this is, I can actually rank up her stuff without using the bounties. But I'm not entirely sure about that. First I had to get to rank two. So, I don't know. It might take a long while. Alright, so how much level does this go to? That's alright. I learned that in order for it to get to 31 light, this is 31 light, this is 29 light. So as a note, in order for my gear to be full 30, I have to get all the new stuff to at least this. Uh, let's see... Oh, it'd be really great if I got this leveled up. Killing a hive with critical hit has a chance to spawn an orb of light. This one as well. Gain a temporary increase to reload speed while Oversoul's gaze is active. Yeah. Yeah, that stuff would make the raid a lot easier. <laughs> 